happiness. She has given you the most sacred treasure under heaven, her life and love. The continuance of those virtues as of as the giving and receiving, excuse me, uh, as a husband will ensure her bless and keep her a heart fast and knit to yours. Will you vow here, as you have already promised to her, that you will be true and loyal, be patient in her sickness, comfort her in sorrow, love and honor her in all duty and tenderness to live with her and cherish her according to the ordinance of God in the sacred bond of marriage? If so, answer, I will. I will. A little louder, please. I will. Thank you. Nicole, in your life and love, will you take James and treat him with health and inspiration? He will love you, he will love you for, excuse me, he will love you for cheer, for encouragement, and for confidence. May your life be the inspiration and your love be the protection he will need. Will you vow here, as you have already promised him, <laughs> that you will be patient in adversity, minister to him in affliction, comfort him in sorrow, love and honor him according to the ordinance of God in the sacred bond of marriage. If so, answer, I will. I will. Thank you. You may now join hands and declare before God and these <laughs> witnesses and each other your solemn marriage covenant. So join hands. Um, will you come to take James, please maintain your gaze upon one another in the eyes. James, repeat after me, please. I take you, Nicole. I take you, Nicole. To be my faithful and loving wife. To be my faithful and loving wife. Throughout the remainder of our life together. Throughout the remainder of our life. We will be held in union, we will be held in union. Loving, loving, honoring, honoring, and providing for each other's needs. And, for each other's needs. and, I, promise and I promise to remain faithful to you, to, remain faithful to, you. To, love to love and care for you, and care for you as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amen. Please, Nicole, repeat this after me. I take you, James. I take you, James. To be my faithful and loving husband. To be my faithful and loving husband. Throughout the remainder of our life together. Throughout the remainder of our life together. We will be held in union. We will be held in union. Loving. Loving. Honoring. Honoring. And providing. And providing. For each other's needs. For each other's needs. And I promise. And I promise. To remain faithful to you. To remain faithful to you. To love. To love. And care for you. And care for you. As long as long as we both shall live. As we both shall live. Have you a token of your love to and for each other that will seal the vows you have taken this day? Who has the rings? These rings represent an unbroken bond, no beginning and no end. The unbroken circle, the emblem of eternity, and the goal, the emblem of that which is least tarnished and most enduring, are to show how lasting and imperishable is the faith and love you both promise <coughs> by the giving and receiving of these rings. With these emblems of purity and endless devotion, you are sealing your marriage vows forever. The unbroken circle, the emblem of eternity, and the goal, the emblem of that which is least tarnished, the most enduring, are to show how lasting and imperishable the faith and love you both promised by the giving and receiving of these rings. With these emblems of purity and endless devotion, you are sealing your marriage vows forever. So let us uh, pray for these rings. Well, I thank you and I bless you right now for this privilege to honor these young men and women that are giving their lives and giving themselves to one another. Let us be a bless them 
bless their marriage, bless their union. Allow your divine peace and grace to bless their home. Allow their home to be filled with love and respect for one another. Let them enjoy the prosperity of this life. And Lord, as they care for one another, as they honor one another, as they minister to one another, let them experience the outpouring of your spirit into their lives and into their union. And let it be a blessing to their